If wake turbulence wasn't dangerous, airports wouldn't separate aircraft by minutes instead of seconds. Every time a wing generates lift, it creates rotating air behind it. These wingtip vortices are powerful, invisible spirals of moving air, not random bumps. They trail behind large aircraft and sink slowly, staying exactly where the next aircraft might fly. For a large jet, its own wake is manageable. For a smaller aircraft, that same rotating air can roll the aircraft unexpectedly, overwhelm control authority and push it beyond safe bank angles. This isn't theory, it's physics. That's why wake turbulence separation exists. Smaller aircraft must wait longer after heavy jets, sometimes minutes, because vortices decay with time, not distance. The danger isn't the runway, it's the invisible air left behind. So here's the real question. If wake turbulence is so powerful, should separation rules be even stricter, or are they already conservative enough?